This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Habakkuk 2 3. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, Ugo Chuku here. If you're an old subscriber, thank you for coming back. New subscriber slash new viewer, you are welcome. Anywho, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a day in my life while I also just you or share my thoughts or maybe my experiences, not maybe, but actually my experiences in 2023. Basically, this is my 2023, <laughs> 2023 life wrapped. Okay, the, the color Spotify wrapped. Uh, so she did be twenty twenty two Spotify wrapped. And yeah, it works. Twenty twenty three life wrapped. Yeah, so let's get right into it. So in twenty twenty three, how did twenty twenty three start? Twenty twenty three started with a mixture of calmness, tiredness, and chaos. I entered twenty twenty three tired. I think I said it in the first vlog. I was very tired in 2023 there was this whole burden on me and i just it was just very heavy so i entered the year tired and yeah uh i had an accident in january uh thank god for my social media break that i take the six months break that that brought the calmness into it so tired entered 2023 tired that was the tiredness <laughs> the accident was the chaos and then the calmness was being off social media and that is that is how my 2023 started it also started on a good note because i mean i started a career in an industry i've always loved in case you don't know i think i've said it on this channel before i love the financial industry i've always wanted to be in finance how when where I did not know, but I knew that I was going to be in the finance industry when I was little. I did not know. How to, I did not know how to go about it, but it has happened. So literally, I'm living in my answered prayers. I'm a compliance babe, a compliance officer at a bank. However, the problem started where I now have, or literally have, new work-life balance. You know, I'm always work, 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 work. So if it's not my 9 to 5 I'm thinking about, which my 9 to 5 doesn't close 9 to 5, is actually 8 to 5. And that 5 is very dicey because sometimes I would, I, for someone like me, I don't like leaving my emails to have lots of inboxes or I don't like having a lot of inbox, inbox messages. I don't even know the right word. But, um sometimes i could leave as late as as eight nine sometimes i could get home by like past 10 or even earlier and then go to bed by 10 but anyways that's not it so i i really did not have did not have a work-life balance if i wasn't worrying about my 95 i was worrying about content you know i had the 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 notion of when I get to, when I start, when I come back on social media, I'll be dishing out videos every week and Sundays will just be for short. But man, it's been, it's been different. So I had to learn to take you slow, do what I can, you know. And that's the reason for so much vlogs and really, I think it's just one sit down video, but at <laughs> I, I i don't know but the you sit down videos are few why i said i don't know is because i tend to do like three sit down videos before i upload this vlog so yeah uh yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah that's why there's so much vlogs and little to little um little sit down videos i work on weekends as well so when it comes to vlogging i edit per scene so once a scene is done i just put it in, in my edit app and i start editing there and then so that's why it's always quite easy for me to like work on the go what else happened in 2023 i fell in love more with my friends i mean i i know i don't have a lot of friends i would just have a handful of friends but um they did used to put in the effort because i'm used to being on my own 
you know day my day make you day your day i don't like being a bother to people um but this year i was quite intentional with them um calls checking daily checking weekly you know by weekly monthly you know things like that since we're now scattered all over nigeria and the world so that just had to happen um i had time for myself a lot and then a twist happened i was in a relationship happily in a relationship and then meow, 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 i was out again uh i was out of the relationship and yeah i got into situationships it was it was a lot because bruh <laughs> whoa Jehovah. <laughs> got a bag anyways it is what it is i took the lessons that needed to be learned because you know part of me were, parts of me were really exposed that really shocked me <laughs> it really really shocked me because i mean i was like is this really a part of me <laughs> bruh anyways <laughs> now wow um but we thank god for god thank god for family and friends that held me down um during that period because it wasn't funny <laughs> it wasn't funny <laughs> anywho that same period thanks for family and friends like i said earlier i traveled to paris for a week for three days i made a new friend before i traveled um i came back on social media continued to enjoy myself again like myself for myself by myself do you get what i mean like enjoying my company again you know and then boom i hear one of the saddest news of my life where i lived in denial for like four days before i could finally finally accept it i gosh Oof. Mm-mm-mm. dear lord a year of the death of my childhood friend you know <laughs> you know that friend where you guys grew up together we rich, really truly called ourselves the zero because i mean we've known each other this is when we were kids, like they gave birth to us how many months apart. And I used to think I was strong. I mean, <laughs> oh, but man, it broke me. It did break me. I heard of the death, and I was living in denial till like two days <laughs> before we went to visit the family. The death broke me. It did break me. It still breaks me because randomly I hear his voice, you know. The death broke me because we were literally siblings. It was my guy. He is that guy, you know. He's soft-spoken. He has a large heart. He has a beautiful face, a beautiful soul. Our banters, top-notch. I was so confused when I heard of it, like I said, because we spoke three days before his death, so, like, imagine the confusion like i was shaking i literally sat back where i was sitting and then i had to call him to offer like guy babes have you heard and she's like she's she's confused and she said yeah she's confused and we cried together over the phone I, i've never i cried so much during that period a lot I heard that I didn't obey the knowledge I had during the period I hated so much because I had this nudge in my spirit to call him just before his death. The three days, <laughs> hey, the three days before his death, I had that nudge and I ignored it. I was pushing it, pushing it because me and myself, I was tired, I was drained. It felt like a lot was happening at once and I, I couldn't have a hang of it and I didn't want to be 
partially absent-minded for my friend you know i'm that kind of person that when you're my guy i want to be fully present and i didn't want to be half present you know i just wish that i just called at least let me just hear his voice you know instead of us just step because we're texting back to back before i had the nudge for three days it's just those three days that we did not have the text back to back you know so you can imagine the anger the tears the devastation bruh death is so cruel <laughs> that is cruel very very and it's very final you know anywho <laughs> towards the end of the year i made a spoil in the moment decision you'll find out later on this channel but coming come to think of it i don't think it's really a spoil in the moment kind of decision it's been there since 2022 now that I'm even talking about it, it's been there before 2022, more like 2020. But it did not feel right. Everything was not just going right. Even for me, it was not just settling in my spirit to make that decision. You know, but it felt right when I was dealing with, <laughs> with heartbreak. It, was, it felt right when I was dealing with grief. <sighs> the ir irony, the... It's just very ironic. Is there a word like that? <laughs> yeah, the irony. Um, it is a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm even yet to get the full understanding of this decision, but I think with time, since it feels right with my spirit, I will understand it better, you know. Um, let's let me talk about a little let me talk more about some of my tiny or not so tiny details of 2023 <laughs> so uh, i made new friends for someone like me that likes to just be on my own somehow this year i was open to making more friends i was quite intentional again about my old friendships thank god for them so yeah um i went out more than i would love to I don't like going out. I like staying in some house. Do you get what I mean? I like staying in some house because I like doing my day. I did a lot of retreat. That was the top of my list for 2023 goals. I didn't vlog them because they were very personal. I didn't let it get away from the noise. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I, I invested more in perfumes because, you know, you gotta like to smell good, you know? Your baby loves to smell good, so yeah, I invested more in perfumes. I walked out for a while. My legs were shaking that period, but it was worth it. I think I need to do that more in 2024. I became more in tune with my life, or my spirit, my pattern, my spirit. I, I became more in tune with that. Uh, I was more honest to myself and did a lot of honest reflections. Um... I cried a lot. I wept a lot. I became calmer. I became softer. I gave grace, more grace to myself. I gave more grace to people. Um, I was vulnerable. <laughs> My vulnerability this year really shocked me because I was extremely vulnerable to myself, extremely vulnerable to people. I understood vulnerability and I'm grateful for my friends because they understand vulnerability. Sometimes I would just call and cry on the phone and then I, that's all I just needed to do. So they let me do it, you know. So I was vulnerable. I challenged myself a lot. A whole lot. <laughs> a whole, whole lot. Um, I walked out of situations that didn't serve me over very disrespectful because I can't be in a situation where kobasi do you get so i walked out of situations that didn't serve me or were disrespectful um this did not happen in just a day it took a while i just wish for 23 i wish i had the plan intimacy with abba i was really lacking in that area <laughs> but you see this 2024 that we're about to get into bro <laughs> 2024 all i want to do or all I will do or plan to do will be committed to the hands of Abba. So now I will need a deeper relationship with Abba. You know, 
um he is my friend he is my lover he is my dad and because that is who i need to flourish i would just have to train myself to have a very deep intimacy with him in every area of my life and i just knew with that every area of my life is covered cheers to 2024 i really had a year it was a year how was your year how do you intend the 2024 to be like that's the end of this video i love you guys so so much i really do love you guys so much Mwah. thank you again